Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is me, the Metaverse Explorer. I am back to update you on what's happening in Star Atlas. I hope all these videos do not bother you because I do like maybe once every two days, once every three days. And I'll try and space it. I'll give you some time to digest it because sometimes I see that the views of the previous video does not actually go up to where it usually goes to. But this video, we're going to be talking about Poonab Secrets Roadmap Scan number 15. But before that, let's have a look at something from the foundation room, shall we? This is really interesting. This is the uh, the Thripid. I don't know if you know the Thripid. It was probably one of the first ships released by Star Atlas. Um, and it is beautiful. Let's have a small look. There's no music. It's just going to be quiet. Let's just enjoy it, right? And I, uh, after we watch it for the first time, I'm going to stop it. And then we'll play it back again and pause and talk about it. Okay, so just enjoy it for now. All right, so that was pretty good. That was like about a 30 second clip. Uh, so thank you to whoever posted this in the foundation room. Let's have a look at it again, right? Because there are a few things we can notice. First off, there is a small ship just up, uh, where my uh, thing is, where my, uh, I mean, maybe I'll drag it over here, you can see. You see just right here, there is another small ship here. So there is something else there. It's not an isolation. Uh, next up, the sunset just looks beautiful. Okay, and you can see, I think they're trying to demonstrate the, the lighting, the, the rays on the actual uh, ship itself. Secondly, you can see there is a human above here. This is just like a placeholder for people, for you to know what the size of this ship is, right? So that's a human right there, and the ship is gigantic, okay? Let's keep going. Very clean, very sleek, right? I think this is, uh, yeah, one of multiple engines. And I just wanted to see that, I thought I saw some flickering in this engine here, but I might be wrong. But we can see the quality of the design of the engine here. It looks pretty nice. Over here, it just looks like a straightforward view. Whereas over here, you got an angle view of it. And you can't really make out much else here. Um, this though, I thought doesn't really belong in the, uh, in the view of the Thripid. But hey, what do I know? Now, this is the inside of the Thripid. Now, of course, it will not be this little mesh thing here because this is just the placement hole. This is like the cement, right? And then you go ahead and paint over the cement. So this is just what they use to carve out the insides of it. You can see multiple different doors here. One, two, three. This door, however, has a touchpad, while this door does not have a touchpad, which is very strange, right? Why does one need a touchpad and one doesn't? One is possibly the brig. Don't know. Um, um, the doors have the same design, which is interesting. No problems there. And I am generally a fan of how the door opens, right? How the door itself opens. I, I know we've heard some uh, sound effects already from Star Atlas. And um, I'm really hoping on this effect as well is the same. Like it goes like multiple metallic, like puzzle unlocking sound, like something like that, right? You can you can just imagine it. Yeah, like all, every 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 time... Let's go back again. Every, every, you can think of the same sound. One, two, three, four, five, six, like times 10, the same sound happening at the same time, like same metallic, metallic clinks against the back of it. Now that's awesome. That looks like some kind of cockpit. Maybe there is a chair and that looks like there's a visor or a screen up there. So yeah, that's interesting. I just thought I'd share that with you guys because that was in the foundation room. All right, let's move on to uh, Punab's secrets roadmap scan number 15. As Yago has finally recovered his health, the group is now on a quest to leave planet Jirio. Without a ship, Wen and Yago have no choice but to ally themselves with the Punab's Pawn and Fang to try to escape the frozen planet. In their search for resources, they stumble, stumble on secrets in the depths of Jirio. Now, as always, I'm not going to ruin this for you. I'm going to go straight to the... Um, straight to the uh, the uh, roadmap scan itself. But there is one thing that someone did say on Twitter that caught my attention, right? Um, we know that the uh, four hours at the moment, which is the fuel, uh, resource, fuel, uh, food, ammo, and uh, 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 one more thing, which I always forget. I always forget it. I'm so bad, aren't I? I'm sorry. Um, 
Uh, we know the four hours are going to be turning into the uh, tw 20, uh, 20 hours or whatever they are. Um, they're going to be the new resources we're going to be using in Scream. And of course, they'll all need their own names, right? So it's possible they might be trying to introduce some of these names already for us. And I think we might have found one, possibly. Uh, so these are just stories for now. These are part of the lore. Um, it is possible they could easily integrate some of this into the game itself. So we think we found one, which was, uh, I didn't find it. Someone else did. I'm just sharing it here. It was called Eleth Eth Ethylol. Um, Ethyl. Yeah, so, um, so what is this? When asked the Poonab, while holding one of the strange plates. Oh, this is called Ethyl. This is the most common resource mined here in Jirio. If you process it with organic compounds, it turns liquid, becoming a very efficient fuel. This is by far the most mined resource on the planet. So we have a resource introduction here. They could be saying Ethyl is one of the new fuels, a very efficient fuel. We might have a really crappy fuel, like a different tiers of fuel, right? Like a, a inefficient, efficient, very efficient, that sort of stuff. And you can, and maybe medium ships or extra large ships, uh, uh, or like, sorry, capital ships will only take very efficient fuels. Um, either way, right? Um, it is possible they could integrate this into the game. No guarantee this is going to happen because we don't even know uh, if the story writer here uh, has any input into the game. But I know Michael uh, Wagner watches these videos, so it's possible. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the report so we can see what's going to be released soon. And remember, 4 to 6 hasn't ended yet, right? There still might be some announcements coming. They wanted to release them over a period of time. So, you know, 4 to 6 weeks, we'll get another announcement. 4 to 6 weeks, another announcement. That's what my hope is. Showroom Alpha. The concept art is done. We're way past the concept art by now for the showroom. The art is building. Uh, the UI is done. Um, I'm very interested in this because the UI and user interface is done already. I didn't... I. I thought there'd be way more, uh, way more to be done for the user interface, but hell, what do I know, right? Game design is done. The blockchain is building and the gameplay is building. Showroom level improvements are done. Bugs, bug fixes ongoing. I want to know what bugs they found. I want them to let us, let us inside the showroom so that we can report bugs and make it better for them. Um, you know, this is what Illuvium is doing right now. I know, I know I, I'm not going to go on the debate about with Illuvium that's passed I'm not going to comment on it again. But the uh, Illuvium people are doing pretty well with their um, game itself. I've downloaded it. I've played it. Um, bug reporting is super easy, super smooth. So the best way to get more bugs is to get people playing and to get beta testing, just like other world is doing with their other deeds at the moment. Or well, Yuga Lab, sorry. So they're updating the wallet integration feature and performance fine tuning. Wallet integration finalized. What's the upcoming activities? Fix all bugs. Regression testing after wallet integration. Or oh, Scream, uh, they're building the game design, building the blockchain, UX design is prototyping, economy is R&D, um, uh, web is prototyping. So I think over here, there's not much new uh, new that I noticed. Let's see if we can find anything else uh, with a focus on the onboarding system. Awesome. We need it to be onboarded super easily, super smoothly. HUD system, structure system, and inventory system. Nice. Um, they're building the scream screens and elements with a focus on HUD and buttons. Very nice. Defining the macro economy um, and sub economy uh, to determine all dependencies. And they're still building out the cargo functionality. They're coding it and building a hangar UI and adding the lost pixels ship models into the scene. So I actually asked my guild because I wasn't familiar with the locks, lost pixels ship models. Turns out the Lost Pixels um, is a, a animation company um, that uh, Star Atlas might be working with. Um, they have a long history of uh, animation itself, um, and I've seen, I've gone to the website. They do a few games that um, I haven't played, but you know you can see them. Um, and I think this is the company that Star Atlas has had contracted to do all the ship modules, uh, ship models, models, not modules, the ship models to put into Scream. Um, so this is, you know, we, Star Atlas is not ashamed to be uh, outsourcing some of their work to go to uh, people experienced in that field to do something for them because they raised, what, $200 million, so they got money. Um, so I think this is an example of the uh, Calico uh, uh, Guardian that we saw. 
uh, that was um, a, a kind of a moving about of the ship itself and people were confused and uh, even myself i was slightly confused if this was the showroom module uh, m model or this was the screen model and it was actually just the screen model because they're two different models right people are building the same ship in screen and building the same ship in showroom okay i don't know why they're doubling up like that but uh, it might be just a, a the creative process you can't really take the same module and take it to another game another kind of uh file or another uh, uh universe universe you know what i mean um continue so yeah so these guys they got their ship models i'm assuming they've done most of the ship models i'd like to see more we only saw the calico guardian that if they're importing the models that means they must be done uh which means can we please see some michael wagner thank you um continuing to define explicit requirements for the core gameplay mechanics uh we know this we uh they're going to be doing it on testnet first then audit no problem uh, nothing here, all the same, all the same, all the same. So the Atlas DAO, um, so the Atlas star Atlas DAO itself, we know that it has been out. People are locking at the moment. Um, I, my, I was concerned and Michael Wagner cor corrected me here that of the 100 million of, uh, circulating polis, the team only actually has 50 of that 50 million. They ha they own a hundred million total. 50 million is still locked. Uh, 50 million is circulating for the team. And then the community, me, you, everyone else, uh, we have 50 million. So right now, if we were to vote on something, it would be kind of 50-50 because uh, um, uh, uh, ATMTA, but with Michael Wagner, only actually has uh, 50, 50 million circulating for them to use at the moment. So um, this is interesting. For the Star Atlas DAO, they're actually adding global PVP stats. Um, and I'm I'm actually uh, wondering if this is the 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 stats for the uh, 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 you know the loyalty points I was called PVP or is that something else oh, I'm forgetting now I should have prepared for this video I'm sorry but glo adding global PVP stats and reward emission so I think it must not be like me versus you stats it's just like the the referral system stats if I'm correct I forget what it's called I'm sorry um, preparations for polis locking incentives implementation and the Atlas Locker uh, audit is ongoing. So remember, you can lock your Polis uh, for voting rights. You can also lock your Atlas for, um, you get Polis as a reward for locking your Atlas, and then you also get a marketplace fee, fee reduction. There is currently no market fee, marketplace fee, guys. Remember that there is no marketplace fee, which means there will be a marketplace fee. And if you lock Atlas, you will get a discount on this fee. Now, of course, is it going to be worth it if you're buy if you're not buying and selling ships? It might be worth it if you're just buying resources, something like that. We don't know what their incentive structure is going to be like, right? Now, what's upcoming for the DAO? Pip one, which is uh, pro uh, uh, what is pip, uh, pip? Oh man, I read all this stuff and I forget it so easily. It's a, a Star Atlas improvement proposal one. All right. Um, draft and app requirements. Uh, finalize the At Atlas Locker design, build the Atlas Locker. Ooh, that's weird. How, why are they uh, finalizing it first, Locker design, and then build the Locker? Oh, right, they're designing it first and then they build it. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Establish the team polis staking parameters. So this is what I'm talking about. They got 50 million polis. They're gonna have to stake it sooner or later. Um, and remember on the first, uh, the snapshot is being taken today when this video comes out. Um, and then rewards will start uh, coming out like in August. System polishing, the Star Atlas portal live updated to pre-alpha, new Galactic Marketplace launched and the Star Path is launched. Um, they updated the Play.Star Atlas homepage, um, audits for Kudelski, LP points and LP store blockchain app are published on DevNet. I really want to see these DevNet time. I want to experiment with it. Can anyone find these programs on DevNet anywhere? Like. I'm sure maybe the club or someone else has access to them. Factory bindings for Star Path uh, and um, LP Redemption. A number of minor marketplace bug fixes are being addressed. Now, in regards to the marketplace, uh, oh yeah, th this is what this is what I'm going to say. Orders not loading sometimes. That's fine. We know that. You just refresh the page. That's easy. Uh, various sorting bugs. Yeah, I haven't experienced much, but no problems. Mobile nav issues. I've done it as well. No big issues there. Replace the npc.mum wallet. So when you buy resources from Star Atlas, it's currently labeled as npc, uh, something, 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 and ends in mum, okay? That's if you buy fuel, food, ammo, whatever, from Star Atlas. They want to actually rename this to Star Atlas DAO. 
And for God's sake, give the icon, the Star Atlas icon. When you buy a ship from Star Atlas Automata, it's actually got that Star Atlas icon, right? That, that makes people know that it's official because not everyone can create their own icon there, right? Please add these to the resources as well so people know that these are the uh, official resources. Because when someone um, goes to the marketplace, they can very easily buy one resource for 1,000 Atlas because of just the way that it, it looks. So if this is just the design side of things, right? They can easily improve this. There's always one bot in the marketplace that's listing um, that wants to buy one resource at a 10 times the amount of what it's actually worth from Star Atlas. So you can sit there and sell to this bot one at a time, but you're going to be making 0.0006 Atlas. So it's not really worth the time unless you got your own bot to arbitrage that bot and kill it away. Um, so yeah, uh, so they're just replacing npc.mum with Star Atlas DAO. And of course, we know this because the, uh, the, the Atlas accrued by the resource costs goes back to the DAO itself as a small tax. Okay, I feel like I've talked enough for this. Um, I'm going to leave it here, ladies and gentlemen. I, as always, I will keep you updated on Star Atlas. This has been Metaverse Explorer, 16 minutes. Let's go. Thank you very much.